Yo, what's up, everyone? My name's Dave, and you suck at programming. I got a quick one for you today, okay? We're going to talk about Dev Null. This is a special device. It's on Unix systems. You've probably seen it. You've probably used it. You probably know it can be a little bit dangerous because you can accidentally delete files if you're not careful. Let's talk about it. Really simple. So let's jump in here. We have a couple scripts. Let's look at our first script here. Cat Dev Null. Hey, no trickery there. It's a file, so let's go ahead and cat it, right? What happens? We get nothing. We successfully get nothing. We were able to open that file, read that file, and close that file. There's just nothing in there. It's a special device that exists in your system that you can open, you can treat like a normal file, and that's great, but there's nothing in it. It's completely empty. That's why it's called null. So what's the next thing we can do here? We can, instead of using cat, wow, I'm just typing all wrong today. Instead of using cat, we can use bash built-ins. We can read in from this file. We can do a while read line and we can echo line. This would normally read a file line by line. So what happens if we run it like this? No trickery. It does exactly what I said it would do. It will successfully open the file. The loop will run zero times. It will have nothing to print and we're done. Super simple. The, what's the last example here? We have is a file. This one's important. Let's look at this one. In bash, we can say dash F and then the name of a file. And this is a way to test, is it a file? So dev null is a file, dev null is not a file. What do you think is gonna happen when we run this? Dev null is not a file. That's interesting, we're treating it like a file, right? If we ls dev, uh, wow, I did not expect that output. Let's stat it instead. Let's stat dev null and see what's going on there. I'm on my Mac, that's the Mac style stat. Let's use gstat instead. This is the GNU stat, you're probably more used to this if you're on Linux. Um, so we can see right here, what kind of file is it? character special file. It is not a regular file. It's a character special device. This is provided by your operating system. So it looks like a file. It acts like a file, but there are some subtle differences with it, but we can treat it like a file, which is pretty cool. I can CP dev null into file.txt. Now I have a file in my directory called file.txt. You know what's inside it? Nothing. It's an empty file. I just copied an empty file. It's no different than copying any sort of empty file that exists anywhere. And dev null is still there. Here's something that doesn't work though. I sometimes get comments like this and people say, oh, you could just move to dev null. Let's talk about that. Move file to dev null. What do you think is gonna happen? Here's the thing, dev null is not a directory. I'm gonna get an error. I can't move it there. It's not even an E access. E access would be access denied, like maybe with sudo you could possibly do it. This is operation not permitted. This is E perm. This error doesn't mean that you didn't have the ability to do it. It means no one has the ability to do it. This, this can't be done. You can't move something to dev null. It's not a directory. I can't overwrite it. There's nothing I can do. The system's not saying, oh, you don't have enough access. The system's saying, no, this is logically impossible what you're asking me to do. There's no way I can satisfy this. So sometimes I get comments, people are like, oh, you could just like, you know, rsync it to dev null. And it's like, hey, Try it, see what happens. Um, so yeah, there's your quick deep dive into our, or our <laughs> So yeah, there's a quick deep dive into DevNull. Yo, and as always, I wanna give a quick thank you to my patrons over at Patreon. Thank you so much for your continued support. Appreciate it, it makes videos like this possible. And uh, yeah, check it out. If you want your name at the end of my videos like this too, you can go uh, and sign up for my Patreon and give me money. That's why I'm doing it, I'm just trying to get your money out of it. Uh, but no, seriously, if you're a member of my Patreon, thank you so much, I appreciate it. That's how you get your name at the end of the videos. I'm not paywalling any content. Um, but if you like the video and you wanna support the video in any other way, then go ahead and like it. Uh, comment on it, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I want to see that number jump up. Okay. So yeah, appreciate it. See ya.